So there's a thing called excess deaths that's been happening. Now, a lot of people think it has to do with the... And oh, I blame Putin. So what does it mean? What is excess deaths? Well, they know how many people normally die every week. They know how many people normally die. And so ever since the COVID has been over, you know, the, the, and we have been into Omicron, which is just, a, which presents as a cold, there's been excess deaths, like maybe even higher than the deaths during COVID. People have been dying at way higher numbers than they were before COVID, and nobody can figure out why. I know why. <laughs> But let's watch. So he's going to talk Climate about... Climate change? No, probably they're all living under the flight path of a jet or they watch TV. So here is uh, Dr. John Campbell, and he's going to talk about this. Now, he's talked about this many times before. I don't, I don't remember if we've covered it yet. Yeah. Okay. That's why so, I know about it. So now he's got some new, some new stats, and let's watch this. I just want to, uh, with some relief, really, note that at least one aspect of the UK media is taking notice of this problem now. Jeez. So the media has been silent on this. That's why it's a big deal that at least one newspaper in UK is at least covering it. We don't have it. We haven't the foggiest idea what it could be. It's a bit of a melodramatic title. Brits are dying in their tens of thousands and we don't really have any idea why. But unfortunately, sadly, the sentiment is true. It's true. And not only is it true in the United Kingdom, it's probably true where you are watching as well. This is a... So it's happening... Uh, in uh, all over the world, but especially in countries that have the highest uptake of the vaccine. Isn't that a coincidence? I have an idea why. I just don't want to say it. Me too. Uh, an underreported um, global phenomenon, what we could call a pandemic, really. Um, certainly affecting Western, many Western countries, um, United States, Canada, New Zealand, Australia, Europe, places like that. Tens of thousands of Brits uh, die... Um, Tens of thousands more, more Brits die than usual from May to December 2022, so particularly at the end of 2022, excluding COVID as a cause of death. See, these are not COVID deaths. These are caused by other factors. So tens of thousands of people died in the UK from May to December of last year, not due to COVID. What's killing them? Raising serious questions as to why so many died. And uh, from May to December 2022, 32,441 excess deaths. Now, that's all. 32,000 excess deaths. That's like if we had another Vietnam War. That's how many people died last year in UK, and they don't know why. Is there a lockdown relation, too, to a bunch of things not being treated that maybe were locked down and couldn't, you know? Yeah, I'm certain that something like that has to do with it. Lockdowns were not good. Lockdowns killed people. No. Um, the Mirror, Daily Mirror, which is a, is a British uh, national newspaper, so so relieved that that's starting to get through. <sighs> the, the fact that other news agencies, BBC, for example, seem to be saying essentially nothing about this um, really is is a cause for concern in itself. Now, the first data I want to look at is from the Office for National Statistics. Well, we've just looked at that actually. So I think we'll go and, and look at. Um, no, we'll look at a bit more on that first of all. This was this was the week before the number of deaths registered in the UK, week ending the twenty first of April, twenty twenty three. That's week sixteen of the year. Um, so there was 14,024 deaths, 22.1 above the average. That's 2,540 extra. So in one week, there were 2,540 extra deaths over what would normally they would uh, predict what the normal average is. That's a lot of deaths. That's like as many or more deaths as people were dying during COVID at the height of COVID. And no one cares. I wonder why the news media sponsored by Big Pharma doesn't doesn't care about this and isn't interested in reporting this. I wonder why they're not investigating. I wonder why Dr. Fauci is not on television screaming about we have to find out what all these excess deaths are happening. We got we got to protect people. There, no one's talking about it. I just wish we had some leads. <laughs> I wish we had some leads. That's huge amounts. Now, the latest data that we've got Number of deaths registered in the UK um, in the week ending the 28th of April. So this is the latest data that we have from the ONS because the death certificates take time to get through. So it's not unreasonable. Week 17, 13,690 uh, excess uh, de deaths. So then the next week, they had 1,500 excess. Excess. So that's like a 9-11 those happening every week. Or roughly thereabouts. Like Together, sorry. But it's like a what? 
That's a it's like a half a nine eleven. It's a half a nine eleven. That week is but <laughs> but if you put those two weeks together, that's a nine eleven. Well, it's mysterious. We may never know. Point nine percent above the average. So okay, we've gone from twenty two point one percent above the average, but we're still I'm afraid still well above the average. That's one thousand five hundred and sixty nine excess deaths in the week. And that means in the UK in the past week there's been four thousand one hundred and ninety excess deaths. As we've said many times, just imagine this was a terrorist attack. 4,190 people were killed. It would be a state of war. But because people are dying in different settings, as we'll see in a minute, the, the government just don't seem to be commenting on it at all, with the notable exception of some MPs, but very little on this, tragically. Now, um, England and Wales specifically. So that, that, so, and what are they dying from? Well, they have data on that too. What, if they're not dying from COVID, what are they dying from? And we see that here. So again, we see occasionally fewer people have died of cardiovascular disease than we would expect, but mostly they're in. So this is the baseline for deaths from cardiovascular incidents. All those numbers above it, that's the excess deaths from heart attacks. Oh my God, it is. Gar they're gardening. So this is all excess. See, they had. So here there were less deaths. Now there's more deaths from heart problems than would be expected. So that's all cardiovascular disease. So there's an excess deaths through cardiovascular disease. The question is not so much the cardiovascular disease, it's what is causing the increase in the cardiovascular disease. That is the critical question that just doesn't seem to be getting asked. Why is cardiovascular disease? What, why, I wonder why no one's asking what's causing all this excess cardiovascular deaths. I wonder. Yeah. I, I, I really do. <laughs> of course we all know. This is... Because Big Pharma funds the news, the news doesn't want to find out if there's a connection between these excess heart myocarditis deaths and something that Big Pharma is interested in. Yeah. They don't want to. They, they have no interest in finding that out. And that's and that's why he's like, why isn't anybody talking? How come I'm the only person? So you see in his eyes, it's the same thing feeling I have when I report on COVID. Is that why am I the only one saying this? Why aren't other comedians? I mean, I listened. I'm a real comedian for 30 years. I used to be so proud to say I was a comedian. And now I'm embarrassed because they're, they're authoritarian pukes. And none of them, they're leaving it all up to me. <laughs> what, was there another comedian out there who's telling the truth about COVID and, and any, of, any of it? Lockdowns, vaccines. Is there any other comedian out there, Kurt? I guess Jim Brewer did. Oh, Jim Brewer. Oh, you're right. There's a few people. Jim Brewer. Who else? Um, 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 uh, That's it. So good for Jim Brewer. We should have him on the show. Malcolm, please, let's try to get Jim Brewer on the show. So he's saying most of the deaths, are a lot of deaths are coming from heart problems. And I wonder what could be causing that. And we see that here. So again, we see occasionally fewer people have died of cardiovascular disease than we would expect, but mostly they're increased. So that's all cardiovascular. So, what, and so now... So what else is doing it? Not just cardiovascular, but what else? More people dying of ischemic heart disease, heart disease generally, more people dying of heart failure, more people dying of liver disease, cancer about the same. Thankfully, not more people dying of cancer, but way less people dying of other respiratory diseases. You'd think there's something for epidemiologists to really get the teeth into there, wouldn't you? And yet, sadly, we hear very little. I'm going to leave it there because I've uh, expressed emotion on this before. There's no advantage to me doing that again. Urgent investigations required into what is causing these excess deaths. They're individuals. Thank you. Thank you for what. Okay. He's, he seems very concerned. So, and no one's looking into it. And, and nobody else is talking about it. Like, on what news show are they talking about this on? What, you know, who, where? Look, you got to get boosted because you never know. You cert <laughs> you never know. You're certainly not going to hear this on. You're not going to hear this on shows that uh, have people who host it have MSNBC contracts. You're not no. going to see this on the Young Turks because they get their money from the establishment. You're not, of course. Uh, breaking Point's been 100 percent wrong about COVID since it started. Nobody so they're not going to. Gonna, look into this. They're not going to look into this or tell you about it. Who is going to tell you about this? I, I, I think don't even Max, like it talked about. I don't want to get bogged down in it. And they won't. And and they. <laughs> I don't want to get bogged down. <laughs> And they will, and YouTube doesn't want us talking about it. And you see how we have to talk about it. It's a perfectly normal situation. 
to have to do that with every single topic <laughs> on a inter- internet show. <laughs> it's a great. It's great. Everything's been working out great. Censorship has been great. Censorship works. Um, everybody is more trusting than ever. Everybody believes in things. <laughs> We have such faith in our institutions now that the institutions are censoring their critics. Get boosted, wear a mask. I mean, what else is there to say? What else What else can I say? Uh, so no one knows what those excess deaths are being caused by. I mean, climate change is the direction I look at. I'm going to say climate change. Check out my new stand-up special, COVID Lies Are Funny, at jimmydoor.com. Only $10, become a premium member. We're going to be on tour in Northampton, Massachusetts, Syracuse, Cohoes, New York, Hartford, Los Angeles, Bakersfield, California, Baltimore, Maryland, and San Francisco, California. Plus, do we say Chicago? There's lots of stuff. Go to jimmydoor.com for a link for tickets. See you there.